So this question came to us twice. It came from uh, Eris Mix nineteen on Twitter, and also uh, Cheeseburger Randy on Twitter. Okay, they think we should have our attention on Patrick Kane for the Hart Trophy right now. Apparently, uh, Patrick Kane with his thirty-four points, eleven goals, and twenty-three assists, and his third place in the Discover Central Digi- Division Chicago Blackhawks, one point back of first place, should be considered for the Hart Trophy. What do you guys think? Man, uh, there's not a ton of arguments against it. I mean, he's not. It, it's not the best player in the league trophy. It's the most valuable to his team. And, you know, we talk about Kevin Lankinen and what a great story he is for the Chicago Blackhawks. And, you know, I didn't think they'd have any goalie uh, goaltending coming into the season. They obviously got one. But forgotten with how good the Blackhawks are, they don't have Jonathan Taves. Hasn't played a game this season. I cannot believe they're doing this without Jonathan Taves. So, and I mean, DeBrincat's having a great season too. It's it's never a one-man band. But, uh yeah. He's having one of those seasons right now. I'm with you, Steve. I don't really have anything to add to that on top of it. Like you kind of covered it. It's, it's, we, we, each year we try to pick a team that, that you, you think will surprise. Like I think I said Florida, Jesse said LA, Steve said San Jose. Adam, you said Nashville. I did say Nashville this night. <laughs> Bad pick. I mean, they Bad did pick. surprise. Mm-hmm. They- <laughs> <laughs> so yes, good yes. For you. you try to you try to have in hockey. You try to get a little like I'm gonna galaxy brain this one. But predictions are that for that reason. Um, I thought Chicago was just gonna be a dumpster this year, and good for them. This has been a a very surprising and very cool thing, and and that's that's what makes for great stories in hockey. Let's see how far they can ride this. And it's not like everybody's like, well, you know, Hawks fans they always get to. Uh, they always get to win or whatever. Well, they've, they've run the organization pretty well. Um, as much as I've been critical of Stan Bowman and some of the moves he's made, so have Hawks fans. Um, I, think, I think this is fun. This is the, unless the Hawks are playing you and they're beating you, <laughs> this is the kind of story in hockey that you love to see. It's fun to watch. All Here's- right. Next up from John Wenberg, 99 on Twitter. He tweeted me and said, are the Florida Panthers for real? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. They've they're the team that I refused to bet on because they've looked like the are the they've looked like we've been able to have or at least ask the question are the Florida Panthers for real for like 3 years now. Mm-hmm. And every time the answer is kind of <laughs> are the Florida Panthers for real, kind of. And now it actually looks like they are, but they still have the same problem. Again, like Jake Allen could take Montreal deep into the playoffs. It still won't be good that Carey Price is sitting behind Jake Allen. The Florida Panthers are doing incredibly well. It's still not good that Sergei Bobrovsky is sitting behind Chris Drieger. Yep. But yep. they're winning games. Who cares? The The interesting thing, Steve, I, I think too, when you look at the Florida Panthers, it is the way you felt about them this off season is the way you're going to feel about them next off season, which is, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> like I, it's, uh, you know, like it's, it, it you're like, it, look, look at the talent, look at the talent. You think th- there has to be something, but we said that the last two years. And as you mentioned, hasn't been there. And the goal that, you know, the big $10 million contract never helps. And so, yeah, I mean, they're, they are, they are for real this year. That's my asterisk though. They are for real this year. Right. Also, uh, like six, uh, sorry, seven, three, and two at home is very good. Six, one, and one on the road. I want to see if they can keep that up because that is stupid good. That's one of the best percentages uh, in the NHL, although it's not as good as seven, one, and one, which is what the Leafs have, baby. <laughs> 